Well, happy Sunday. Don't expect I'll get a whole lot of viewers, but I figure folks can at least watch this on the replay. Um, my son, ooh, got to turn happy this down. Sunday. That's irritating. Oh my gosh, so irritating. There we go. Uh, my my son. So that's there we go. Um, my son had. Well, let me just say this. I often joke about why I do these posts and stuff is to prove that, and I would show the good and bad and the ugly. So there you go, Lori messing stuff up because I'm still kind of new to this live stuff. Anywho, my son has been begging me for money. He's seven. And he wants money. Um, so I finally said to him, fine, fine, fine. Let's do a chore chart. So I thought, what better way to do that than with a chalk couture board? And what I like so much about these boards is that they're also magnet boards too. So my intent is to create a board and then have magnets that have his chores on them so he can move them in between the areas. So I'm not sure how long this board will take me to do. I'm hoping not too long. Pretty tired. Anyone that's been keeping up with stuff that's going on in the Browse house here will know that we have been getting ready for a very big and important trip. So I spent much of the day kind of getting that ready to roll. We're going to Disney. But I still wanted to get something done tonight. So I'm going to do a wart if this will be kind to me. So I don't have much to say. Hey, Stacy, I don't have a whole lot to talk about. I just thought I'd make a board and y'all can see how cool this product is. I think most of us in the crafting community now know people that are selling this or creating with it and uh, I would say if I inspire you to try it, I hope that you buy through my, my link and uh, you Give it a try. Love this stuff. But, so, here we go. That's just, I got the transfer on there. What you didn't see off camera is that I was doing it on my sleeve to kind of get rid of some of the sticky. Now, the neat th part about this chalk paint or this transfer is that it is a kind of a silk screen. This is screen through that, and this sticks down to the to your board, to your surface, in this case chalkboard, and then you get your color all th over it, get that all on there and spread it out, spread it out. Now this, the chalk paste that I'm using is a water base, so pop quiz, what does that mean? That means... If you make a mistake, like I did right there on the edge, can you see that? It kind of got off to the edge there. I can just use a wet paper towel to clean that up. I like that. So, all I'm doing now is I kind of applied my paste. I'm going to take a squeegee across. Squeegee across. And I'm putting this right back in. That's the great thing about this, this paste. It'll last. Because you only use what you need. All right. So, cover that up. Now, let's just pull this off and watch the magic. And it is. It is supposed to be distressed like that. If you look at this transfer, it is kind of distressed looking. Now, what you can't see over here is on the side, I have a pan of paper, a pan, <laughs> a pan of water that uh, actually I am putting my transfer in because you do want to get your inks off your transfer pretty quick or at least keep them wet so you can clean them off. 
So that's the first one. Now I actually want to put this chores over top here. So what I'm going to do is cover your ears, folks, in a minute. I'm going to use my heat tool to dry this off. All right, cover your tools. We're drying. Except i got to clean that off first. See? Gone. Okay. Cover your ears. Cover your ears. <laughs> Well, Stacy, you've sat beside me crafting before. You know that silly is the best part of crafting, so. <laughs> I laugh at myself a lot in here. All right. Let's make sure that's dry. Yeah, and I might... Eh, it's still a little tacky. Oh, cover yours again. So what happens when you have to layer stuff? You gotta make sure your bottom layer is dry first. All right, let's try it now. Pretty good. No, that ink was there before. I think we're good. All right, so I am going to get my chore transfer. And this is this is the specialty tool. Specialty, specialty. <laughs> that just kind of gets a little bit of the excess sticky off of it. So, um, yeah. Special. All right. And of course, I am flying high and loose and eyeballing stuff left and right. Woohoo! Gotta live dangerously. For, and for chores, I'm gonna do black. Oh, I didn't even say what I did the uh, banner in. It's called Thai Teal. Just kind of a pretty color. I like that teal. So you can see this needs a good stir. I'm gonna use my plastic spoon backwards. Hey, Kim! Just chalking tonight. Don't know how long I'll be on. Pretty tired. So that just means I'm a little punchy. <laughs> I had wine with dinner, so that's not going to turn out well. <laughs> so, all right, so I'm going to do black on top. And I have a bunch. When I signed up for Chalk Couture, I didn't realize how much I would use these. I bought just a ton of them because I like using one per color, and they're just easier to blow through, and then you clean them off and you use them again. But I like having a lot of these small squeegees on hand. So... Let's do this black on top and let's see if this turns out. Because guess what, folks? I have no idea. I've not done this before. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Oh, I'm glad you like the cards, Kim. It's funny. I wanted to do some chalk stuff, but I, I really... You ever get into something and you just couldn't put it down? I was that way with that um that new paper. that mar It's called, what was it? Spring Market, I think. Yeah, Spring Market. Oh, I just I just love that paper. It was, you know, I think we're all dying for spring. All right, everyone, drum roll. See if this works. Mm -hmm. Well, holy moly, it worked. Cool. That S kind of got chopped off there a little bit. So did the C. Hey, you know what? I have, I know what I'll do. Because we're running fast and loose. Let me grab a paintbrush real quick. See if I can kind of make that work there. So, hey, I'm not afraid. That's the neat thing about this, this chalk um, paste is that, you know, it's water-based, so if I really... Okay, I almost swore. You guys who know me know that I will swear like a trucker when my son is asleep. Um, but <laughs> you can just wash it off. It's wonderful. So if you mess it up, just wash it off. There, that kind of cleared that up a little bit. All right. So... So here's a question for anyone who's watching. I would love to hear. See, this is all starting because the kiddo wants to, wants money. What kid doesn't want money? My kid wants money. 
but you know what? There's no free ride here in the Browse House. And so he said that he wants to get money for doing his chores. And I said, no, 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 no. You get, do your chores because I let you live here. So there's certain chores that he has to do, like picking up, um, you know, putting his dishes in the dishwasher, um, making his bed in the morning, um, you know, just things like that, that you get to live here. Therefore you do, you do chores. So my question to you guys is what ones did you, yeah, Kim, you and me both. What, how did you get your kids going with chores and the, like, what's the balance between chores for money, um, for an allowance and chores for you get to live here. You're welcome. Um, because I think there's a difference, you know? All right, let's try this staying here. Let's do this in white. I think I'll do the rest of most of this in white. Um, so yeah, I, I'm kind of curious as to what you guys may have did done with your kids. How did you, and then how much did you pay them? Like what kind of chores did they do for allowance? And then what kind of chores did they have to do just because they were allowed to subsist and survive in your house and be fed there. <laughs> All right. Now what I'm doing over here, what you didn't see, this paste was a little goopy. I'm literally putting my hand in the water and dripping some water into it. Water-based. And that will just help smooth it right out. See how nice that just smoothed out? Nice. All right. Clearly, I go through a lot of white, but I like the white. Look at me making a mess. All right, so let's try this. See how this turns out. Well, if you remember, post it later, send me a PM. But I'm a big proponent of there are things that you have to do in this house because we are a team and so you got to do those things. And again, you get to live here even though you're just seven years old. But heck, I remember when I was a kid, one of my chores, ugh, I hated it, was dusting. I had to dust the house and I'm certain that's because my mother also hated dusting. Therefore, she had me. <laughs> Kidding. Um, so I would do the dusting for her. But I remember that was one of my chores. And guess what? Didn't get paid for that. She allowed me to survive. Thanks, Mom. Although, now that I think about it, I do remember... I hope you guys don't mind random conversation. I do remember when I was a kid, we had these... She would pay us to do the screens. And um, we'd have to take the screens out and wash the windows. But that was a paying gig. We got paid. Wait for it. Wait for it. A nickel a window, baby. Um, Yeah. So and I remember having to do that with my older brother. My brother, who is four years older than me. And I believe made it his entire childhood mission to make my life a living hell. Oh, dishes and vacuum. See, I didn't have to vacuum, Stacy. I, I, now that you mention it, I did have to do dishes. And I remember my brother and I had to switch between who washed and who dried. And the better gig was always drying. And I don't even know why we thought the better gig was to dry. Because technically, I think it's easier to wash. But what do I know? Hmm. Let's see here. Do we want to do an arrow? But yeah, no, didn't have to vacuum. Dusting, though. Ugh, hated that. No, I think the arrow's too much. I don't like it. Okay. I can always add it in. So here's what I think we're going to do. So then what I'm going to do is I have these little one-inch a little one inch magnet maker, and I thought that I would have put on those magnets like what his to-do chores were so then he could put those magnets under here and then slide them over to done when they're done. And then I might have a, a pool of bonus ones under here, and that then once he does his bonus ones, and these are the ones he gets his allowance for when those get moved over to done. That's it. And that's why I like these boards a lot because they're magnetic too. So, all right, to do. So, what I think I'm going to do these in white as well too because I want to leave the banner like that. So, I'm just going to do these in white. So, here we go again. 
Got another one out. Oh, yeah. Nickel window. Twice a year, too. That was spring and summer. Remember that. Remember. Good point, Kim. Pay him more. Yeah. I would almost tonight. <laughs> you know, kids, he is totally on a Minecraft kick right now. I swear to God, if he spoke anymore, he's been talking all day long, constantly. And <laughs> when I mean constant, I mean like almost constant about Minecraft. And I swear I was wanted to pay him today just to make him like, just not say one more thing about Minecraft because I was done. <laughs> I love him and I love that he's interested in something, but I can only take so much Minecraft talk. So yeah, let me think. I, and I need to think about what over and over above chores they should be. Hmm. Like maybe taking out the trash, like emptying the trash in the bathroom he uses. That would be a good one, maybe. Small bag, he can do that. He can haul himself out to the garage for that. Um, he does have to feed the cat every night. I do mornings, he does night. So I think that's part of the, I don't even want to get that on the chore chart because that's a responsibility for another living critter. And I don't even want to get into that being a chore. We just do that. Yep, trash is a good one. I like that. All right. And remember, I got a pot of water, a little pan of water. I'm setting these in until I can clean these off. Now, look, Lori made a mess. Shocker. But the nice, nice thing about that is you just come in. Ooh, lawn work. See, now Kevin will be up for that. Particularly if it was cleaning sticks out of the yard. That's one he can certainly do. Getting the, the debris out of the yard. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to fuzz that up. I like the clean the yard. That's a good. All right. To do. And done. There we go. Hard work. Trash. Bringing in groceries. Oh, I like that. I like that. Now I have to laugh. I was talking to my friend the other day. Um, oh, helping a neighbor. Oh, I like that. And he does do stuff like that for Cub Scouts. They just did that this weekend. They went down to the parks in our little town to um, one of their service projects was to clean up the park to get all the debris out of the out of the grass so they could set up for the town egg hunt. He had to do that for Scouts. Up oh, and up it comes. Like, seriously, don't you love this? This I am amazed by this Chalk Couture stuff. I really am. Here, I'll go wipe that right up. And now, if I wanted to, and when I'm all done with this, if I want to... Ooh, folding towels. I th Yeah, I could probably teach him how to actually um, sort laundry, too. Oh, laundry. Did that today. Now... The neat thing about this, what I was going to say, the neat thing about the chalk tour stuff is that once I'm all done with this, if I want this to stay here forever and always and not be able to wash it off, I can just use some, it's like Krylon, do I have some back here? No, I don't have a can, or I don't have a can handy, but it's just a spray uh, clear coat over top and it would be on here forever and it would be, it would be fine. So, um, that's otherwise what I can do is if I get tired of this, uh, you know, a month down the road and I want to change it up, I just wash it off. So, and I go on from there. So here's his bonus. We'll hide his bonuses. I looked at a bigger board to make it like this, but I thought that this is a good size for him. You hate laundry too? Ugh, I think I did probably 10 loads today I try to do it all in one day since I work out of the house um I just try and get it done at once on the weekends and I'm done with it all right oh this is coming out nice I like this yeah this didn't take too long to do it all did it I've been on what I don't know how long 20 minutes I'm not paying attention. I'm bad. Bad at that. Okay, now, 
All right, cover your ears, because I'm going to dry this again. Cover your ears. Heat tool. And if you don't have a heat tool, you can just use a hair dryer, too. Or you could do be like a normal person and just wait for it to dry naturally and finish it up the next day. But I ain't got time for that. I don't know about you. I got to get my stuff done and be done with it. Done and be done. Nice. All right. Now, I thought since he was such... A cool kid we might want to put some stars around here too and I've got lemon it's called lemon for obvious reasons paste to do that with so let's pull out a big star remember I'm just gonna fuzz that because it's the first time I've used this fuzz it down and we'll do this just over in here and I know I'm going to need to stir this because I haven't been into this color for a while. So, well, the next thing I'm going to have to do is come and get those magnets made for that, but that one shouldn't be too hard. Hey, I can see if uh, Ken and George, our guys at Crafts by Two, want to bring the button maker in, uh, to uh, our next retreat. There you go. Be the easiest way to do it. All right, so a little bit of paste going on. A little bit of paste going on. Chew. And then look at this. Oh, <laughs> hi, Angela. I didn't realize. And see, look, an up and all done. Isn't that nice? Little star bonus star. But I think that he needs two star bonuses, don't you? I do. All right, so. Fuzzing that down. Let's give him another bonus star up here. There we go. And again, remember, all water-based. So if you hate it, all you need to do is just take a wet paper towel and wash it off. Yeah, those buttons were fun. All right. Here we go. Ta-da! I really think that's all I'm going to do with this because I want to leave it open to be able to put his magnets on and he has room to move stuff back and forth between there. And, you know, it was a simple board. It took me, what, 20 minutes maybe? And half of that was talking, so does that count? <laughs> um, but, yeah, so it was a real simple project, um, a neat way to put a board together. Uh, and I, I am just, every time I use this stuff, I'm impressed with it. So I want to thank everyone. If, if there's any questions, let me know. Thanks, Kim. Um, any questions, let me know. Uh, if you're interested in it all, send me a PM. My links are all up posted above, but this is just the, just one little board that can be done and, um, super simple to do. So everyone, hey, have a great night. Thanks for stopping by my my live and laughing with me and letting me be a little bit silly. I will chat with everyone later. All right, bye. Thanks, Angela. Thanks. All right, have a good night, everyone.